I converted to Islam on October 31st, 2018, on Halloween. And I would have been a junior in high school at the time, 17 years old, would have finished my first semester. So I come from a, like a Protestant Christian background. Um, growing up in the, in the church, I never, I never followed the mainstream, I never believed in the mainstream view of Christianity where it's like a, a trinity, a triune Godhead thing, you know. I never believed in a Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they're the exact same thing. I always thought of it as, at least how I understood it was a, was God, you know, and then completely separate was Son of God. You know, Awad Billah, Isa is not the Son of God, but that's how I thought of it at the time. And that it was kind of monotheistic, you know. You have Allah, God, and then you have His servant, completely separate beings. So when discovering Islam, it kind of made sense to me, like a lot. It, the idea of Allah, God being all powerful, and then everyone else, that made total sense to me. And looking back on it, I, that, I guess I'm, I don't really know what the, the appeal spiritually wise was. Like I have many other things that, that brought me to Islam, but I don't know if that was it. it was, there was a lot of other things. So growing up in my life, yeah, I, I went to church. I hung out with only Christian friends. I didn't know anyone else, really. I, I've never met anyone that was a different religion than me until I was in like junior year of high school, sophomore year of high school. So growing up, I would go to these, these Christian church camps every summer. I have, so many, I have so many good memories from those camps. Rather than it was, it, was less, it was less about what I learned, how I felt, but more about just like, you know, being around my friends, you know. So when I discovered what true Islam was, what the actual message of what Islam really is, it would have been in my sophomore year, like summer. It would have been in my, it would have been going into junior year. So I would have, I would have went to camp that summer. And the theme of that whole camp, as there's always a theme, there's always something related to how Christians should do this, you know, God this, Jesus this. The theme that summer was world religions and how, you know, us as Christians can, you know, view them, how we can be friends with them and all this stuff. So when I went there, the religions that were being represented was uh, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism. Those are the only four religions that were there. So it was, it's, about, it's about a week long and I spent that whole week with my friend. Um, I'll, I'll keep his name disclosed, but he knew, he knew a lot more about Islam and knew, knew more a lot about the, theology than me. So after we learned about Islam on one of the days, I don't, I don't remember the whole uh, week that vividly, but he, he would talk to me and say, you know, you know, have you ever, you ever looked at Islam? You ever read the Quran? And I'm completely, I have no idea what he's talking about. I doubt I was paying attention while we were learning about it. But um, it was super interesting because he, he had, this, he had this, this drive to learn about it. And that, it kind of gave me a confidence, kind of gave me a boost, kind of gave me a push to like, that is really interesting. You know, why, why haven't I looked at other religions? I don't really follow mine. I just kind of identify as a Christian. You know, I'd say most Americans identify as Christians if they're not, you know, anything else. So as soon as I got home from that camp, as soon as I got home, it would have been, you know, June, July, May, something like that. I would have gone home and I remember I would, I, would, I immediately got on the computer and I would just started, started typing, started going on Google, learning about Islam, just typing in like Islam, go to Wikipedia, see what's on there. Just kind of like read, not everything, I wasn't super interested, it was just kind of different. But you know, including that, I also looked at every other religion. I looked at Hinduism, I looked at Buddhism, I ran across Sikhism, other just, you know, I went in depth, but not, you know, I didn't look at the basics first. You know, it, it's really interesting now that I look back on it. And, it. and I would have gotten this, and it kind of died down after that. I didn't really pay attention. I didn't really, you know, do much more research on any of the religions. It would have been around November to December 2017 is when this surge of energy where I was like really interested in religions again. And I would go back and I'd watch a bunch of YouTube videos on a bunch of religion. I'd watch a bunch of you know, read a bunch of Wikipedia articles, any kind of article I'd find. And I, and I kept going back to Islam. I kept looking for, you know, it, it sparked an interest, you know, this, this, this religion, this, its modern day origin is um, in Arabia. You know, it's super interesting, you know, the Arab people, they're, they're amazing people and that their history is so complex and it's so interesting in that, you know, how, how Islam came out of that and how it pushed for these amazing empires, how it pushed for these amazing people. That's how I thought, you know, that's how I thought at the time was cultural, you know, empires, not religion. You know, religion, I never thought that was a driving factor for anything. It, it was those Wikipedia articles that I thought were so interesting, you know, they kept going back to them. And when it was around December, end of December, close to Christmas time, I would have just hung out with my family, would have done nothing different. 
but I ordered my first Quran a, off of Amazon, an English translation Quran. It also had Arabic text on the side. I started reading it. I, I, I really, I was really bad at reading. I still, I'm still learning to read good now. And for that first, I don't know, for that first month, I just kind of read it, kind of like looked at it, didn't really do much with it. I thought it was so cool. I thought I knew everything. I was just looking at it, looking at the Arabic, acting like I could know what's going on. And the idea of looking at this book, the idea of looking at religions really sparked an interest in me in like wanting to go into theology. I thought that would be my major. You know, at the time I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, junior year was coming up. You know, senior year, you gotta start thinking, you gotta go to college, you gotta go in the workforce, you gotta do anything. So at the time, I really thought theology was the way to go. So my, my way of thinking at the time was the best way to learn about a religion, like really, really in depth, because I had this whole plan where, <laughs> it was amazing, subhanAllah, that I had this whole plan for like the next four or five years, I'm gonna study an entire religion for an entire year, like a new religion every single year, and just learn so much about them. And then, you know, go back to my Christian life and just, you know, learn about it, talk about it, do whatever. And I was like, okay, let me, let me, let me pick a religion, let me start. And I picked Islam. No reason at all. You know, it was interesting. And there was, I also thought Hinduism was interesting. I also thought Buddhism was interesting. Sikhism, I really thought was interesting. But I chose Islam for some reason. And for the next couple months, I would just, I would learn how to pray. I would learn the five pillars. I would learn the six pillars of Iman. I would learn the history of Islam. I would learn about everything that has to do with it. I would watch videos on how to pray. You know, I memorized Fatiha. I did, I did everything that a normal Muslim would do, but as a Christian, just kind of messing around, wanting to learn a religion. And that went on for about a couple months. I would say like four, four months, I'd say. Four or five months. At my, at my church at the time, we would have this interfaith peace walk every year. And it was only, it was the second year of doing it. And my church at the time was um, partnering up with the local mosque, the local masjid. And they would come together and they'd walk from the church to the, to the masjid or the masjid to the church, whatever year it was. And we'd do that together. We'd do that, you know, Muslims and Christians side by side. And when we'd reach uh, to one of the locations, we'd have, we'd have lunch. We'd have lunch there. And, you know, we'd talk and we'd get to meet people. So that was the first time... I can recall ever meeting and talking to a Muslim. Like growing up all my life in America, in the United States, you you are given a view of Islam that is always negative. It, going to school since second grade, you learn about September 11th, 2001. You learn about the terror attacks in New York. And that, that, that leaves an impact, especially on a kid that's, you know, in the second grade, third grade. You grow up thinking, you hear, you hear radical Islam, you hear, you hear terrorists, you hear Islamic terrorists, you hear Muslim terrorists, and that, and that, that, really, that really drives deep into, into a little kid's brain, and you, you only know that. And so when you hear Islam on the news, and when people, when people judge Islam based on like calling people terrorists, I totally get where they're coming from, and it's, and it's this idea that this Western society is brainwashing us into thinking all Muslims are bad. It's good. It's good PR rep. It's good on the news. It gets a lot of views. It's and so when I met a real Muslim, when I when I decided to go on this peace walk with my parents, when I met real Muslims, it was super interesting. It was you know they were people. Ramadan was coming up at the time. It would have been a month out, and that you know I get to meet these people and they're they're just normal people. I mean, at the time, at the time in my you know at the time as a Christian. You know, I thought they were a little weird wearing thobes, wearing, you know, women wearing hijab, you know, wearing, being, being extremely modest. I didn't think it was modesty at the time. I thought it was just weird. You know, I was like, it's hot. It's like, it's like 80 degrees outside. Why are you guys wearing all these clothes? Like, I'm over there wearing shorts and a t-shirt. It's like, I thought it was really weird at the time. And that I got to meet these Muslims and they invited everyone to, to a Ramadan dinner. And at the time, you know, I knew what Ramadan was because I was doing my little research thing. And I was... I was like, yeah, that's the that's the holy month of, of Islam. I was me and my and I was I was really interested. In my parents, so my parents knew the entire time that I was, you know, studying Islam, practicing Islam, just to learn about it. And so, as soon as like I was got invited, I told my dad, I was like, hey, we need to go to one of these things. We need to see how this really is. You know, it'll be super fun. I think it'll be beneficial for me. And he's like, sure, why not? And so, 
I don't know. I don't remember what day during Ramadan it was, but we, me and my dad showed up. Um, I met the Imam of this masjid actually. This is the exact same message I took my shahada in. And so I texted the imam, I got his phone number, and I was like, hey, you know, we're here. Because um, he, he invited us, he invited us to this Ramadan. And so we came inside, it was weird, you know, you take off your shoes, you walk around, there's carpet everywhere. It was, it was, it was amazing, it was, you know, subhanAllah, it was amazing to see just something different. You know, there's no chairs anywhere. My dad was like, you know, where am I gonna sit? And I was like, I guess you're sitting on the floor with us. Um, Subhanallah was amazing and we got to sit around these bunch of guys There was some there were some guys maybe two or three years older than me that that the imam pushed You know come to come sit by me come come sit by this kid. He's around the same age as you, you know Subhanallah looking back at that those same people who were sat around me. They are my best friends right now in Islam You know, they're my best friends that are Muslim That was a really that was a really really crucial moment to be around Muslims to see true Islam. They tried talking to us about um you know, Islam, I tried to tell my dad about it. I was like, I was just as like, I was learning things just, just right there in that moment too, but mostly everyone else just wanted to talk. They just wanted to be friends. And that, that is such key when doing da'wah is just being nice. It's amazing what that can do for someone, you know, from experience that like, that's, that's really, really good da'wah. If you can just, you know, be nice, show them that we're Muslim and everything you've seen on the media is wrong and that, you know, we're good people. And subhanAllah, the, I remember staying and they prayed um, Maghrib and me and my dad just sat in the back on the floor and watched and just like hearing hearing the Adhan hearing the Iqama hearing you know Surat Al-Fatiha in person rather than watching a video for the for the past like six months you know it was it was a surreal experience to really feel that and be in that moment you know because I knew every word of Fatiha as bad as my Tajweed is as bad as my Tajweed was SubhanAllah and just to see them, you know, going into Ruku, going into Sujood, it was amazing. Um, you know, I almost wanted just to be like, hey, can I join? I know exactly what to do. But it was just, SubhanAllah, it was amazing. And so, yeah, that would have been around five or six months at the time into the, into my nine month um, thing before I converted. So at that moment, it was, it was really, I would say that really struck me as like, okay, I kind of like, this is like really nice. This is like really cool. This is not, this is less about learning a religion, learning and practicing it more about, I kind of believe this, you know, this kind of makes sense. And I always tell people, people always ask, what is it, what, what, what drew you to Islam? What was the main thing in Islam? And people, I always hear stories, people hear, they hear, they hear the Adhan for the first time and they're changed. They hear the Quran recited for the first time and they're changed. I never experienced that. It was always later. It was after I converted to Islam when I experienced these things. I'm like, wow, you know, alhamdulillah, you know, these things are amazing. It was later on. At the time, the main thing that drew me to Islam was community. And, you know, seeing, experiencing that Ramadan and seeing those people, seeing, seeing these Muslims coming together, worshiping, you know, bowing themselves, you know, getting into the lowest position possible. Like, they are so vulnerable in that moment. And it was amazing to see. So that was the main thing that really drew me to Islam, was community. And the fact that they gather, you know, 30 nights a, 30 nights a month, every year. And it was absolutely amazing to see that. Because growing up in a, in a church, you meet once a week on Sunday, if you go. And I would have met once a week on Wednesday for these like youth group things. But I never, I never knew about religion. I just went because I had friends. And I went to church on Sunday because my parents made me to. I was never connected. I never paid attention. Um, I, I, I faked like I paid attention because I wanted to just be home, you know, asleep or something. But so looking, looking at these Muslims, looking at these people that how close they are together and how much they just talk, how much they're friends. It was amazing. And I wanted to be a part of that, whether, whether or not I had friends, whether or not I knew what I was doing, whether or not I'd be hanging out with a bunch of uncles for the next for the rest of my life rather than people my own age. And so it would have been around, you know, eight months into this journey at the time. And that's when it really hit me that, yeah, I believe in this. I want to be a part of this amazing experience of worship and I believe in Allah. And so at the time I, that's all I wanted. You know, that's all I cared about. I, I would say I self identified as a Muslim. I didn't even know how to take the Shahada. I didn't know it existed. I knew it was one of the five pillars, but I didn't know what that meant. And so, you know, it would have been beginning of October, two weeks in October, and I was like, 
I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to take my shahada. I knew I wanted to become Muslim. And the hardest thing for me at the time was, what do I tell my parents? What do I tell my grandparents? What do I tell everyone I know? You know, some very few people knew I was studying Islam. They see me holding a Quran and I always just told them, yeah, I'm just reading it because it's cool. But that was the hardest thing at the moment I had to do was tell my parents that, hey, I've grown up Christian all my life and that I want to become Muslim now. And so I did. I had to, I had to go to my parents and I had to say, hey, I'm Muslim. And so I did. I went, I went, I gathered them and I went, hey, guys, I got something to tell you, something really, really important that I need to tell you guys and that it's going to, you know, and to reiterate, they've known this entire time that I'm studying, practicing. And then I went, I told them, hey, I want to become Muslim. I want to be a part of that. And they responded, oh, we, we thought you were going to do that. We, we kind of knew this whole time you were, you were, that was probably going to happen. And then we'll support you through this no matter what. And, you know, subhanAllah. And just, they, they, they were so supportive of it. They were just, you know, may, may Allah preserve my parents. May Allah guide them to Islam. May Allah, you know, grant them Jannah. And that was like one of the happiest moments of my life was to know that they'd support me through anything. And that, you know, a week later, two weeks later, I, you know, I, I texted the Imam of the masjid and I was like, hey, I want to take my shahada. And he was, you know, he was, he just said, all right, well, let's make it happen. And then he asked about, you know, are your parents going to come? Can they, he would prefer, he would prefer for them to come. And I said, yeah, they, they're totally down to come. And, you know, two weeks later came, it's Halloween night, October 31st. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, you know, that week up until October 31st, I've been nervous. I've been going to school this entire time. I've been just, I've been thinking about it. I've been shaking. I've been so nervous. And on that night, up until that night, I was, e I was, ex I was the most nervous person ever. I was just, I was shaking. That was the first time I looked up what the Shahada was. And I was like in my bed, like, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, just over and over. Because I thought I had to memorize it before I got there. So I was like, I was nervous on how to do my Shahada. I was nervous that my parents were going to come. I was nervous, all these things. And when I got there, you know, that was the first time my mom had ever came to the masjid. And we, we came and we, we sat, we sat in a circle with the Imam, some youth, and my parents and me, and as he told, he told my parents, you know, kind of like what Islam is and all this stuff, and that that they were supportive and they gave amazing answers, and that it was time for like to say the shahada, and I was over there just kind of like, you know, shaking. I was, you know, tapping. I was probably tapping my foot. I was, I could, my heart was just bracing, and and the people that were there were my were my were my two now Muslim best friends, and just you know, subhanAllah, may Allah preserve them and their families my friend there and then she she gave me the shahada in arabic you know she she told me you know okay repeat after the imam told her you know repeat after her and she went you know ashadu ashadu ilaha ilaha illallah rasulullah you know rasulullah and that you know and then it turned and nothing happened and i was kind of like freaking out and i did it i did it good i think i did it good and then one of my other friends he he did english you know I bear witness, there's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his slave and messenger. And after that happened, you know, no one warned, you know, it, everyone just started, everyone got up, you know, Allahu Akbar, started clapping, you know, it was, it was amazing in that hugs were given around, food was getting served, and my parents were just kind of like, I didn't even remember what my parents said, I was so just kind of in the moment. And, and after that, it was, it was towards uh, Isha time, I think. We, we went when we was like it was time it was time to go pray Isha and that you know at the time people were already praying Isha upstairs so we didn't join the Jamaats because I had to learn I, I had to go make wudu for the first time and you know it, the funniest thing is I never in the entire nine months of me practicing Islam praying this whole time I didn't even know how to make wudu I didn't know I, it was a thing so it was kind of a bummer that I had to you know now make wudu before every prayer you know I'm just joking about that but um it was it was just funny, you know, making wudu for the first time. And then we went, we went, and we went and gathered in a, in a smaller jamaat with um, with my now with my friends, and we prayed uh, Isha. And they they were like, hey, do you, like do you not know pray, just like follow us. And I was like, oh, I already know how to do this. And you know, and they were like, what? And then they they, they started and they, Allahu Akbar, and I went like this, looking down, and they're they're just kind of like, what? Like how did? 
how did this guy, and I knew exactly what I was doing, went to every position, you know, assalamu alaikum rahmatullah, assalamu alaikum rahmatullah, and just ever since that moment, it's been me and those guys, you know, being best friends, learning about Islam, you know, alhamdulillah, I'm so, I'm so glad I made that decision, it's been the best decision of my life. It's uh, right now, since, since I'm recording this, it's, we're almost to the two year mark of me, me accepting Islam. Almost a year, it's been about a year and a half since then. Yeah, the story's already long enough and I hope, I hope this was good. I hope this was a good descriptive view of you know, how I really felt. And yeah, I guess, I guess that's about it. I, uh, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, Zakhla khair for, uh, for watching. Yeah, I guess that's it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.